Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the tutorial reversing with HyperDVG. In this part, we're gonna see how we can debug system calls and sysrefs. Here is a quick overview of what we're gonna see in this part. We're gonna see uh, system call hooks or, or and uh, sysret hooks. Uh, then we dig into tracing Heaven's Gate mechanism and Heaven's Gate instruction in Windows. Another thing is that we're gonna analyze a, a system call routine, a Windows system call routines to see what happens whenever a syscall is executed in the Windows. Uh, and we have a hands-on, uh, which is creating a basic system call interceptor. Now let's see the details about system calls and how we can hook them. Okay, uh, as you probably know, system calls are a programmatic way of uh, requesting a special, a privileged service from the operating systems. For example, when you want to contact, when you want to uh, communicate with an I/O device, uh, you probably uh, you definitely don't have access. Uh, to I/O devices in Windows, so you ask the operating system to perform this communication for you, and uh, the it's the responsibility of the operating system to check whether you have uh, the needed privileges or not. And this is why we have a system call because we want to request the service from the operating system. Uh, in um, modern uh, x64 operating system, uh, a special uh, instruction uh, is uh, used for this purpose, and it's the syscall instruction. Uh, like all the other uh, features of HyperDVG, syscalls are uh, events. The uh, these uh, events are in in uh, as you probably know from the previous sessions you can run a scripts uh, within events uh, events or you can run your custom code and you have uh, the all the things that you can expect from an event in this system called uh, events as well in HyperDVG, uh, this, this describes how we implemented uh, syscall, uh, this syscall interception mechanism in HyperDVG. In HyperDVG, uh, we disabled uh, or uh, set uh, the syscall enable bit to zero in MSR EFER uh, uh, register, uh, in this model specific register. So whenever a syscall or a sysret uh, instruction is executed on entire system, uh, uh, a UD or uh, an I undefined exception is thrown, and uh, then HyperDVG intercepts uh, this exception and tries to emulate the system call and uh, sysret instructions. Uh, and a, a limitation for this uh, system uh, for this event is that uh, you cannot use this event in uh, whenever the patch guard is enabled. Uh, if you want to just dis disable the patch guard, you have to uh, attach WinDBG at the boot time uh, on Windows. So the patch guard uh, is the disabled. Uh, it's the uh, the thing about patch guard is that it won't be disabled if you just disable the driver signature enforcement or just enable the local debugging by using WinDBG. You have to attach WinDBG at the very first step when the system tries to boot. The Another thing is that uh, hooking system calls are done by using the syscall command or uh, this... Uh, bang syscall command or exclamation mark syscall command and other variants of uh, these commands are uh, syscall uh, and uh, syscall2 and sysred2 which is a faster uh, variant of uh, the syscall command uh, but in some cases it might cause a blue screen 
So it's generally recommended to use the first command, uh, this just the simple syscall command. Do not use the uh, syscall uh, two command if you don't have a concern for the speed. And uh, if you want to uh, know what what's different, what are differences between these two commands, better to read the documentation. But in uh, but if I want to briefly explain it, whenever uh, this uh, syscall two command just tries to emulate without accessing the memory, uh, it means that it won't check whether the instruction uh, that calls the uh, undefined uh, exception is actually a syscall or not so it just uh, decides based on the situation based on the uh, instruction pointer uh, so uh, it's generally uh, safer to run the first way the last note here is that even though it's possible, but generally it's not a good idea to intercept all the system calls in the entire system because uh, there are hundreds and even thousands of uh, system calls running on each second on uh, Windows and uh, probably other operating systems. Uh, and it's not it's not really useful in most of the cases to intercept all of the syscall and it's generally not possible to create logs because you you will uh in just one second you can generate generate thousands of logs so it's generally better to filter the system calls based, based on your need by using the script engine using the conditional statements uh, we have some examples about it uh later we will discuss it truly here's uh the <laughs> how you can how here's uh, how you can use the syscall command uh if if you see here uh like all the other events it gets a pid in hex format this is the process id of uh, the process that we try to intercept this system called uh, we try to intercept its system calls and we have uh, the script here in the script we just uh, try to print the syscall number the syscall number is in rax register it's just a simple printf that uh, uh, prints the syscall uh, number in 64 bit format uh, and other parameters are also available on r6 rdx r8 and r9 because based on uh, the fast call calling convention in windows uh this is the way that windows passes the parameters from the user mode to the kernel mode and also the rest of the parameters are available in a stack uh again we have another example uh in this example we, we want to intercept uh, the the, uh, the first argument or the only argument currently uh, the uh, only argument to the syscall command is uh, a syscall number if you want to intercept just a specific uh, syscall uh, number you can put its name uh, put uh, its number here for example uh, in this example uh, we use 0x55 uh, uh, in hexadecimal format we just want to intercept this system call and uh in the in the system call i just try to uh debug or pause the entire de uh, debugger if uh the uh, the rdx register is equal to 0x10 and uh r9 is not equal to 0x5 uh this is uh this is how we check for uh the parameters uh, as you see in the previous slide uh we passed uh, in windows we passed the arguments uh in r r6 rdx r8 and r9 so uh, we can conclude that rdx is, is the second uh parameter and uh r9 is the fourth parameter to the system call handle another important note about uh, this syscall is that uh it, it generally won't limit uh, to a, a special syscall or a special process. Uh, so whenever you uh, run syscall or syscall command, uh, you will 
events for the for these two instructions are triggered on the entire system so it makes system substantially slower but still you can use the system normally and you can debug uh, your system